Hello everyone and welcome back to We Were Here this time too. We were here too. I'm with Neb, aka Blue. Hi Neb. Hi Blue. <laughs> okay. I am a lord, he is a peasant. Hi Peasant Blue. Please, Saya, it's been five months. Please give me some more oats. Please! You will get oats once we finish this puzzle. No! <laughs> You're fun. Yeah. Oh. So are we ready to go? Yep. Alright, sweet. Yay! Woo. But yeah, this one is um, whole lordy. This one's gonna be fun. I am excited. Oh, the door opened. Not sure what to do. Try describing objects in the room. Okay. That usually works out well. The room's too dark. You can adjust the brightness. The key is communication. Oh, yeah, I, can I can change stuff. No, they can totally see through my eyes. Oh, I um. Hmm. Interesting. Defeat is not the end. <laughs> you can start from a checkpoint. Okay. What is my key? Oh, also okay. you can. Sorry if the game sounds are loud. I can adjust the settings once we're in it. This is a cool cutscene. This is a Is that a fire? No, it's a flare. Oh! Oh, it's a second people! That's why it's we were here too. As in T O O, not. Splitting up is our best option. There's a boar. That was a loud door. Oh, whoa, this looks entirely different. Okay, let's go to sound. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Abayer. Okay, do I have to press something? Uh, how do I press? I don't know how to press. Hello? Are you there, my friend? Yeah, I'm here. I just had to learn which button was pushed to talk. Alright, and uh, don't forget you can always go to uh, key bindings in the settings uh, and change it to whatever you want. I changed it from whatever it was previously to Q because it's right next to W. It's the right click button for me. That's not a bad idea, honestly. This place looks epic, I'm not gonna lie. I know in that cutscene too, like holy crap, you can definitely tell that they got a bigger budget with this one, uh, from the last one. Yeah, everyone liked the first one, so I'm glad that people liked the first one, so now we can see the new and improved version. Oh yeah, and it only gets better from here, trust me. Do you have anything on your side? Yeah, you remember the symbols from the first one? I have a big thing in the center of my room with one on the far left, one in the middle, one in the right. Okay, so, okay, I'm just gonna start over. So, I am currently, um, 
where I spawned in was uh, in front of a little mini river that has a uh, doorway that leads to nowhere, and then a sewer grate. And then if I were to go forward, well, backwards in this case, since I was facing towards it, I would come to a rectangular prism in the center of the room. Um, there's a lever on the, a red lever on the far side, and <clears throat> a three different dials I can switch. Well, not dials, but more the. Remember the play places, those little tic tac toe things. I basically have three of those, where there's, uh, where's all the symbols from the first one that we played. Okay. The only thing that I have symbols in in this room, at least is over three different well technically four but one doesn't have a coffin in it or i'm assuming it's a coffin all right well i'll need three symbols because um i have Oh, I have some new ones, but I have the crowbar, oh, cool. oval robot standing in the boat, the turtle that looks like it's been killed, as well as the um, <clears throat> telephone pole with the triangle on top, and then I have uh, two new symbols on the middle one, and then, but yeah, basically it's just like the robot head with the three tufts of hair on each side candelabra, a time glass, um, stick cat, not just the head, but it has the body, the N with the fancy J. Um, I just need like three symbols that you found, and then I will try and locate them on my, uh, my three here. Okay, so I, I, I found more symbols than just the ones I found down here. Um, and the ones that have coffins in it, which I'm assuming are the ones that you need, are a person with their head in the sand. Basically, it looks like their feet are up in the air, kind of kicking. Uh, and their arms are outstretched, so they're upside down. It kind of looks like the cat as well, but without the middle point connecting the ears. Then we have an hourglass. And a cat. With, uh, the body. Yay, we did it! Woo! Oh no. Timed? No, I just know what comes after this room. Okay, so for the chat's knowledge, um, I may or may not have watched through the first three before... Beth came up with the idea of uh, going through these, so I have a bit of knowledge of the puzzles, and if I didn't, they would be a lot more challenging, which would have been fun, but oh well, I oh don't know. But um, yeah, I think there's like two time puzzles in this, and that's it, or maybe I'm just thinking of the next one. But anyway, I got a... Um, Got a room full of candles. Okay, and I got a book of candles. Oh, perfect. I need that. Because I have candles in here. The, this is what it says on the left side. If I can remember how to read cursive. I think that's an, a weird L. I don't... Maybe that doesn't matter. Dear L... My love for you burn with the intensity of a thousand suns. Your beauty shines at bright at the light of the start and at colorful at the lover in our garden? Love you forever, B. So I don't know who L and B are and I don't know if that's like a hint to which candles are which. But we have candles that are numbered. One through seven? Six? S six. Well, six. I have one, a book over here that says Dear B. So I think um, 
whoever was here first, maybe like the guys that we lost on accident, may have been here first and they liked each other but never, you know, could never tell each other because they never got out. Oh. But yeah, I need the uh, I need the candles. Okay. Um are they different shapes and sizes? No, they're all the same size. The only reason they're different for you is to uh I don't, I don't know why. But um how I came in it's basically where this where I came in there's one directly behind the pedestal and then there's one across from that and then there's two on the right side, two on the left side type of thing. Could you repeat that? Sorry. Okay, so when I came in through the door, behind the pedestal that has the book on it, or the book stand actually, there what there is a candle behind it almost immediately. And then on the other side of the room, in the same circle in the same circle, there's another candle. And then on the right side of these two candles is another two. On the left side is uh, another two. So basically just think a circle, oh. but with six points on it. Okay. Okay, that works perfectly. That aligns with the book. Okay, so I'm going to align this as if the pedestal is the starting point, because I think it is. Okay, so you're going to want to either light or put out. I don't know if they're lit. But you're going to want to in somehow interact with the candle right in front of the pedestal. Like the first one that you see. Then you're going to go to the candle on your left. Or, yeah, it would be your left. And don't, not both of them, just one of them. That's going to be on the left, closest to the first candle that you interacted with. And, and interact with that one. All right, done. Okay, now you're gonna want to go diagonal to the candle on the right, but closest to the uh, candle opposite from the first candle that you interacted with. Okay, so for this candle, it would be like directly uh, across from like the pedestal candle. Uh, no, but it's closest to that candle. It's the... So, you, there's two candles on either side when you look straight at the candle across from the first candle that you interacted with. On the right, you're gonna interact with the one farthest uh, from you, from what you can see. Besides the one that's furthest, like, that is directly in front of the first candle. Done. Now you're gonna want to interact with the candle that it is right next to the third one on the right. I think I may have messed up. So you said candle directly in front of the pedestal and then the one on its immediate left, right? Yes. And then by diagonal to it, do you mean across? Not directly across, no. It's on the right, and then it's the... Like, if you're closest to the first candle that you interacted with, and, and walk, it'll be the furthest candle from you, besides the one that's directly in front of the first one. Okay, so with how you're looking at the book, it would be to the right of the candle across from the first one? Uh, it's not- okay, so when you're at the first candle, it's not the first one on your right, it's the second one. Okay, I got it lit. Okay, now light the one that you- that is also on the right. Okay. 
so the this makes this um the one that is almost the immediate right of the first candle yeah all right done now you're gonna go back to candle two the second candle that you interacted with and do the one right next to it on the right all right sweet that did it cool oh now i have glowing banners all right i'm gonna need you to um describe what they have on them to me because i need to make them match yours let's start with red Okay, let me get over there real quick. Oh, you can sprint. Okay. Okay, so we have a candelabra sort of design. Two circles on the right and left side, but no circle in the middle. Then you have C's pointing either way with a line connecting the candelabra and the C's together. Right underneath it, you have a circle with an X struck through it and an extra line and a upside down V uh, in between the candelabra part and the C's. Okay, so with how I have mine, I can only have um, I can only have three more things to the current circle with an X through it. So far, I have a T that looks like there's an arrow going up it, um, and then it's, it's just like they organize in a weird fashion. And I have to like if I select one thing, I can't select another unless the lines connect. Oh, even then, never mind. <laughs> Um, hmm. uh, so you said that you had a candelabra part? Kind of. You remember the circle candelabra? It's similar to that, except there is no circle in the center. And that's going to be on the top. Oh, I see. That's on the other side. Okay. Hold on. Um, is there a what looks to be almost a lowercase t with an extra line below it so almost a rip cage looking thing maybe but it doesn't there is okay so from the candelabra including the line that strikes through there are there is one horizontal line Two horizontal lines, if you got the ones connecting the C's. And an arrow going through in between the horizontal line and the other horizontal line that's connecting the C's. Okay, so... And then... The, it will be a candelabra part, but with a circle on either, so basically a C on its back, two circles on the ends, but then an extra point coming up? Yeah. Alright, so does it look like an upside down person, then? It kind of does. It kind of looks like there's a frog eating a dead person that has Lego hands. Alright, well then I got that one done. Now let's move on to the blue one. Oh, I don't wanna. But we gotta move on to the blue one. Okay. On this one, we kinda have a scorpion with triangle hands. Okay, so what, uh, okay, so you have what seems to be that one squiggly line that you usually use after the ETC as the, as one of the lines, right? 
the ETC, etc. Basically. Oh. Uh, maybe I've never used that. I've actually never used that symbol before in grammar. It's um, next to one. So when you, if you were to hold down shift and then press the one that's to the left of one, you see that squiggly line there? Yeah. Base of mind that, and that's all I have right now. Yeah. That. Yeah, that's that's part of the legs. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um. So I have three different tail selections. One is like a poodles where it's like a J and then a circle. And I have one that's a J and then a triangle. And one that's a J and then the uh, part of the candle candelabra. And then, um, however, the um, for the scorpion thing, you can jump. Is it a um, is it just a C with two triangles on it, right? Yeah, there's a C with two triangles on it, and and it's a J with a circle. You can jump. All right, and then does it have a center circle with a circle inside of it? There's no circle inside of it, but there is a center circle. All right, I have a feeling I'm we I may have done one of these wrong because I can't um, okay so I'm gonna describe to you what I have on my end okay I have that little curvy symbol uh, these are the symbols I currently interacted with to have them light up okay a cur the curvy line squiggly line a curvy J with a line. circle on the end of it. J with a circle. A C on its back, two triangles on the tips. Two triangles. And then a circle with a line on the bottom of it, connecting it to the candelabra triangle things. Yep, that's it. Okay, I may have done the first one wrong then. I'm going to go back and describe that one. Okay, so what I have is the base thing that I've selected, which is a circle with an X going through it. And then the next one I have is a C on its back with a line going down and what looks to be half an asterisk, uh, almost next to, almost touching the C. And then I have a two Cs, one facing forwards and one facing backwards. And they are connected by a single line and it looks like two candelabras, like a mirrored cam candelabra, essentially. Mm -hmm. And then I have another candelabra point, except um, it has, it's on its back, and it has a line that looks like it would connect to a circle, but there's no circle there. Mm -hmm. But then on the two tips of the C, uh, there are circles. That sounds like the same thing I got here. Is there another? Okay, so I selected the wrong one. Oh. Well, wrong two, I should say, because what I had selected was the asterisk <sighs> and not the arrow. It was basically an arrow going into the T, and I had accidentally selected the uh, wrong one. And then with the C's connected by the, the uh, line, I had the one that where the line was going through the seas. So I had the first and well obviously I had the first one, but I had the fourth one right. But the second the middle two weren't correct, but now they are. Okay. Now then, um there looks there is a circle in the center and I can now interact with the buttons. Um, I have a sigil painted on the floor with sigils around it that are glowing. Alright, um, I'm probably gonna need those. Okay. Oh! 
Oh. Well, which one's the starter one? Okay. Um. I guess we'll do it both ways if the first way doesn't work. Uh. Are you at the buttons? There should just be a line starting on one of them. And if we do it backwards, it's fine. We can always just, uh, redo it again. But there should be a defining way to tell. I'm not entirely sure, though. Okay, let's start with, uh... The X with a line through it horizontally. Okay, done. Then we go to the... I don't know what to call this. Um, the partially open book. Looking at it topside. Done. Then we're gonna go to the intersecting V's. Uh, does it look like in a, uh, bow tie? Uh, no. It- It's on its side, and it kinda looks like two X's, or it could look like M and W, right on top of each other, on its side. Okay, does the, uh, does the book look like a ticket? Um... Yeah, it kind of does look like a ticket. Okay, well, then that means I got the first two correct. So for the intersecting Vs, um, I have one that I have a few that fit. Like one looks like a bow tie. No, one one's over looks here. like if you were to take two, a greater than and less than arrow, and then put them together until there was a diamond in the center. And then I have two that look like they are two. Um, I fish from Subnautica if they were kissing. Oh! It, it's the second one. It's the one that has the greater than and less than signs intersecting. Alright then. Okay, done. Cool, cool. Okay, next you're gonna have a upside down fish or a person with a uh, um a ponytail? Basically, it's a fish if you look on it at its side, but it's pointing at me, so it's upside down. Or on its side, more likely. So for how I have it, I can I know what you're talking about, and it's pointing directly at uh, the sensor for me. But yeah, I can see the ponytail. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, and if you look at it from where the points for the, the two, uh, where the open point is pointing towards you, it looks like a diamond person. Oh, it kind of does. Okay. Okay, next we have, uh... What looks to be a thunderstorm. Basically, like, you have the explosion up top, and then you have a lightning bolt right underneath it. Yes. Got it marked. Yep. Now I only have three symbols left: the one where the fish are ki where the fishies are kissing, the a eye with a line through it, uh, where the eye is the line is going the down tie. through the eye, and then the bow tie. Okay, we're gonna want the bow tie next. Oh, my finger Alrighty, twitches. It's all done. Okay, now we're gonna need the kissing fishes. really good at this. Now I just need to find the door. Uh, what door? I knew it. So, Veth, when you get in the, when you get in the room, you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna need you to tell me what you see, please. Okay, let me find which door is open, because I have several gates that are open, but none of the doors are visibly open. I think I might have to go through. That's locked. Okay. 
This one is the first timed puzzle. Oh god. This one is going to require oh, can't very that. good communication between mainly from me to explain to you how my object looks. So Okay, this is Check my reached. Okay, so you should be able to access the um the room now maybe. I found a room with a book. Should be a room with a bunch of interactable objects that you can pick up. I think I just found basically a room that gives hints on what to do with the previous puzzles that we just did. Oh really? That's pretty cool. That's locked. I could be wrong. Let me check the other door. I am uh, here. Just stand in the center of your room until um, you see a door open. Because I'm gonna go up to. I'm gonna go in all the way. Also, if you notice, your room is the room in the starting menu. Oh, cool. Also, please hurry and find that room, because I currently have an object I need to describe to you, and it is a uh, cube, but in a T format. Please hurry, because there is lava coming up. I'm doing my best, dude. Okay. You're fine. I'm not trying to rush you. I'd just rather not be, um... Dead? Flambéed. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Um, uh, where, where is the door? <laughs> okay. Um, this door. This door? This door has to be it. No, it's locked. Okay, it has to be the book that I just found, but it doesn't make any. Okay. Let me read it real quick. No, okay. it's gonna be a room full of cubes. A room and, full of and then I have to describe what my cube has on it to you um, before I become roasted and toasted very nicely. Well, I just flipped a lever. I don't know what that did. That may have opened up your door. Um, usually it, there will be a door opening sound with a directional cue. I didn't have a directional cue Oh wait, though. hold on. The lava's not rising yet. Oh, maybe it doesn't rise until you're in the in your room. Okay, so never mind. You have time. Okay, good, because I'm still severely lost. It's also locked. Never mind. The stairs are- I forgot that this, the lava doesn't rise. The stairs go missing. Please hurry. I was just kidding. <laughs> I'm doing my best, dude! I don't have any cubes, I just flipped a lever, but the lever, as far as I know, did nothing. So I don't know what to do. Only going away, so you, you got you got plenty of time, don't you worry. But, um, no rush, but, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, one of the coffins opened! Okay, I'm not coffin, but, uh, crypt. And it closed behind me, great. Uh... Okay, oh, so are you in a room full of wooden cubes with a bunch of metal platings on them? Yes. Okay, I'm going to describe what mine has. Now mine is if you were to unfold the cube and it looks like a cross. <clears throat> are you ready for me to uh, describe what my cro what my cube has on it? Yes. Okay, so on the top, there's going to be a pentagon, pentagon pointing almost to the left corner. To the left of that, there's going to be a triangle pointing left. On the right of the pentagon, there's going to be a triangle pointing right. Now. Sorry, continue. Uh, do you need me to repeat any of them so far? Yeah, I thought I found it, then it turns out I didn't have it found. Which one would you like me to repeat? One, two, three, or four? Two. Alright, so two is a triangle pointing to the left on the... So if you were to look at the top of the cube, on the top left, the cube. there is... On the, um, le on the left on. side of the cube... There's going to be a triangle pointing to the left. Square. On the right side of the cube, there's going to be a triangle pointing right. On the front of the cube, 
Except there's going to be... Eek! No, no, no! Put it back! Put it back! Ah! Sorry! I just dropped a cube! It's fine. Um, it's fine if you dropped a cube. But, however, the stairs are going faster. Now, um, on the back, there is a square. And then on the uh, bottom, there is a pentagon pointing almost to the right corner. 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 Let me pick it up. That's not almost to the right corner. Come on. They're all pointing the same freaking direction! Need me to repeat any? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. So on the- What was that, sorry? Huh? Which one do you mean repeat? The whole thing. I am so sorry. I I'm starting to get confused. Oh, that's fine. We're gonna have to restart in a second anyway. Don't you worry. Oh, great! <laughs> okay. I'm definitely gonna be feeling this in the morning. <laughs> At least I found the room. I guess that's a plus. Um... Uh, we, we can still get it, right? Right? Oh. Never mind? What? I'm, um... Currently... Not... Dying. For unknown reasons. Should I try to place the cube on the crypt? Would you like- I am so sorry I right clicked on accident. Ooh, a... There's a freaking light! Do you want me to, um... Re explain what I see on the cube? Also, yeah, if you put in the wrong one, it takes away five steps, but that doesn't seem to matter to me. I really wish I could tell- show you what is happening. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I actually kinda like the sound when it gets wrong. <laughs> Okay, good to know that I'm playing with a psychopath. Uh it's, it's not because you lose five steps, it's, be it's the sound. Yeah, I know, that's telling you that you messed up. But anyway, you just gonna try all of them? Or, should, or do you want me to explain it? I want you to explain it, because I think it changed, because none of the ones I have left are the pentagons on top. Well, uh, okay. I was just using that because that's how I thought it would look like. It could be that there could be a pentagon on the back or the sides. I'm just gonna describe what the cube looks like to me. Okay. And you just need to find the one that matches my description is all. Okay. It's not these two. So, on the top of my T, the there's top. a compass pointing west. There's a In compass the middle with two, with, that connects to the other four pieces. Is a pentagon pointing to the, to the, west, to the west, almost to, the, left. to the left corner, upper left corner. To the left of that pentagon is a triangle pointing left. To the right of the pentagon is a triangle pointing right. Below the pen below that pentagon is a square. Below that square is another pentagon pointing almost to the top right of the of its current of its uh, case of its um, square. Where's the red part of the compass pointing to? Left. Oh, to what shape? The triangle that's pointing left. The triangle that's pointing left. And the triangle that's pointing left, if you go in the same direction that, that you go to go to the triangle, you have a square, right? Yes. To the left of that appendicon? Mayhaps? 
I think I found it. Sweet. Yep, got it. Oops. Okay. Dang <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> At least I You're fine. You're fine. Um, I tried moving and it kicked me down, so I think I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. Okay. Alright, so, gonna need to go fast, fast, fast. So I need to go to the crypt, the crypt. The crypt is open... over here? Alright, I'm coming up on the cube right now. Okay, I need to open the door that has the, uh, lever so I can open the- so I can use the lever and stuff. There we go. It opens the door... on where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the open door? I don't know how I opened the door! Oh, it's right there! Oh, okay. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so at the top of the T, there is a pentagon pointing almost to the right, up right corner. And then the, uh, below that, in the center connecting to the floor, is a triangle pointing to the right. To the left of that triangle is a square. However, to the right, where the triangle is pointing, there's a, a the same pentagon as I first described, where it is almost pointing to the right, upper right corner. Below the triangle is a compass pointing at the triangle. Below the compass is a triangle pointing away from the compass. Okay, pentagon to the right. There. I think I found it. I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully it doesn't kill kill you. Did it! Good job, that's the right one. I'm currently heading up to the next one. Are you ready? I don't know where to go. Uh, give me a minute to get reoriented. No, no, no. You need to stay in that room. You have to stay in the room because I have another one. Oh, oh, okay, okay, sorry. You're good. I'll just, just let me know when you're ready. I'm in the room again. Okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna describe- Wait, there's nothing- there's no more cubes in here. It's a different room. What do you mean it's- no, just go back into the same room that you were just in. Will it reactivate? Oh no, you need to find the next room, never mind. Run, 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 as fast as you can. Found it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. So, on the top is a triangle pointing down, and below that is a pentagon pointing down as well. Triangle pointing down. Pentagon pointing down. Triangle pointing down, pentagon pointing down. I am so sorry, but because I accidentally right-clicked, you're- I couldn't hear you. Okay, so triangle at the top pointing down at a pentagon. That to pentagon? the left of that pentagon is a square. To the right is a triangle pointing back at that pentagon. That pentagon is then pointing down at another pentagon that is facing up. And then below the up-facing pentagon is a compass pointing up. Uh, back at the, the pentagon. I think I found it. Sweet. Got it. Okay, one last one. I just need to find the door that's open. Come on, I heard it opening. So my direction sense set off. Are you there? Just found the room, yeah. 
All right, here it is. At the top, there, there's a pentagon. Below that is a triangle pointing right, and to the, to the triangle's right, there's a, another triangle pointing right back at it. However, to the left of the, tri the first triangle is a compass pointing left. Below the triangle is a square. Below that square is a pentagon pointing down. Triangle pointing right. Triangle pointing right. None of these triangles are pointing right. That triangle is pointing left. Left. Right. Square, triangle, triangle, pentagon. Could you repeat it? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> At the top of the T, there's a pentagon pointing up. Now below that, in the one that's connecting the four, there's a triangle pointing to the right. To the, the way, if you follow that triangle, there's a triangle pointing right back at it. However, if you go the opposite way of the first triangle, there's a compass pointing left. Below the triangle pointing to the right, there's a square. And then below that square is a pentagon pointing down at the first pentagon. Okay. So the pentagons are facing each other. Triangle, compass, another triangle. Where's the square? The square's right here. I think I found it. I'm putting it in. Sorry. Well, I'm dead. No! I know we were really close on that one, but we're getting good. Okay. All right, find that lever in a hurry, please. Find the, found the lever, gotta find the room. Where are you, room? Room, which room are you? Which room is gonna open? Which room is gonna open? Found it. Alright, so at the top, there's a compass there's pointing a compass. left, and then below that, in the center of the four, is a pentagon almost pointing to the top left. To the left of that, there's a triangle pointing left, and then to the right of the pentagon, is a triangle pointing right. And then below the pentagon is a square, below the square is another pentagon, however, it is f almost facing the top right corner. Okay. Eek! No. Is the pentagon pointing down? No. Not that one. What's the Pentagon's orientation? Uh, which one? The first or second one? The first one. The first one is in between two triangles facing away from it, and the Pentagon itself is almost facing the top left-hand corner. This is almost the right one. Okay. That one, that one. That one. It's not facing away. That. They are technically facing away. Um. I might have found it, but I'm not entirely sure. Man, can't hear. Can't hear. Try. It was wrong. I can tell. 
Anyway, we may, we may have a, another restart. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Ch -ch -ch -ch, to the right. No. No, that's not it. That's not it. Well, never mind. I'm stuck again. Maybe I can actually make it this time. No, yeah, you never know. Anyway. No. No. To the right, to the left. Away. Away. I think I found another possible candidate. Do you want to try and get this one, see if I can't make it to what seems to be a doorway down there? Huh? Um, below the first uh, spikes, there seems to be a doorway that I can get into. And I kind of want to see if I can. Go ahead. I need you to find the cube. I think I found it. <laughs> and I was wrong again. Sorry about that. Oh no, it's fine. I'm currently, like in my first when we first did this, I'm currently in the same predicament. I mean, it's, well, no, this one's pointing at it, and this one is kind of pointing at it. I don't remember the cube description well enough. It's in the same predicament, meaning that... <sighs> Stop being impatient. Actually, look for the cube. Well, I am looking for the cube, but I know what I mean. Okay. It's not the first one. So the arrows are pointing into each other. So you're just trying all of them until you find the right one? I'm- I'm really trying to find this! For some reason I'm having a hard time with orientation and moving the cube itself. That's fair. Okay, so... Are the pentagons pointing into each other? Um... <clears throat> no, the... Pentagons are sur are separated by a square. Separated by a square. Separated as well as two tri. Okay, so basically there is a compass pointing pointing left. Below that is a pentagon pointing to the top left hand corner. On both. I'm so sorry. On the left and right of the pentagon that's facing to the top left hand corner are two triangles facing away from that pentagon. Below that pentagon is a square, and then below that square is another pentagon. However, this one is pointing to the top right-hand corner. Top right. Oh, it's so close! <sighs> I don't really have that many options now. I found one that sounds super close to what you're describing. Sweet. Throw it on. Got it. Okay, well, I got down to the door, but, um, said it's locked, so, uh, oops. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I need to get oh better at this cube. <clears throat> okay, um, so what you should do is you should go around to every cube and tell me what's on top of each of them. And then I can tell you, like, then I can help you eliminate. Well, no, because then I won't, I won't know unless I know what's next to it. If we can use the compass it, as can... the uh, starting point. Well, <clears throat> that won't always be a good idea because sometimes the compass could all look a different direction from how it would normally look if you were to, when you first pick it up. If you tell me what's on the top of the cube, and then what's, um, like, if you are walking towards the cube, you can see the back, the front, what's your front, correct? Yeah. Well, if you tell me what's on top, then what's on the front, 
then I can help you eliminate um, some some of the options. Yes. Okay. Let's try that <clears throat> out. Yes. Well said, game. Well said. Okay. Go ahead and find that room, and then I will help you uh, figure out which cube is which. Run, 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 run. This is the song that does it. Uh. Okay. Found the room. Okay, so I am getting. Okay, so remember. This is going to help us figure out the orientation of the cube, and this is going to help me help you eliminate which one is the which one is the correct one, and we can use that. Okay. Okay. So the first cube has a triangle with the flat side towards the left, pointing right, and I think yeah, all the cubes start. The front has uh, the compass on it. All the fronts have a okay. Which one has a compass pointing to the right? Um, why can't it's not bright enough for me to see? It's not bright enough for me to see which way the compass is pointing unless I pick it up. You can't see which well, uh, uh, you can't see the compass direction unless you pick it up. Yeah, it's too dark. You can turn up your brightness settings in the settings menu as well, but for my compass, it is pointing to the right, and if that's at the front, then that means it would be pointing at a square on mine. And then next to that square would be a triangle pointing up. Okay, this is way too bright. Or down in your case, actually, if I think of. Okay, so all. Sorry about that. All of the compasses are pointing up and towards the top. Uh. Side, but I did find. Is it only one? I f did find two cubes that ha that have the compass. Pointing towards the square. All right, you, why don't you try one of them? Uh, what's right after the square? Um, after the square is a triangle pointing up on my end. However, it might be pointing down for you. Uh, when you go towards the direction where the compass is facing, what's the next shape after the square? A triangle. A triangle? Not a pentagon? Whoa, no. what? It was not a pentagon. It was not a pentagon. How'd you die? Uh, we ran out of time. Stairs disappeared. Was it really that long? Sorry about that. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Uh, no, it's fine. It's just, um, over time the stairs start to get faster and faster, meaning you have less and less time the higher up you are. Okay. Okay, this is... Once we get in, I recommend you turn up your brightness to max, because that's what I've done to allow myself to actually be able to see you, because um, just in like the main menu area, I could barely see anything. So once we load in, I recommend you do that so that we, we can, so you don't have to pick it up to um, see what the two symbols are, because you should be able to see like four out of the six uh, if you look if you look at it from the sides as well. 
And then that can tell you the exact orientation. Uh, okay. Maybe. I... Hmm. They're in cubbies. I can't really see much of the cube. Yeah, I, I know. Um, that's one of the main things I remember from this. Other than it's really, really hard to describe these. <laughs> I'm better at, like, finding the thing. You're better at just... Oh my gosh, we've literally switched spots with what we're good at. <laughs> that's amazing. <clears throat> okay. So imagine a. So imagine you have one, two, three, six sides to a cube, but then you unfold it into a T. Mm -hmm. That's basically what I have. So I have no idea what's your top or bottom and stuff. I only know oh. what I see. Okay. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to come up with ideas that's easier for you to understand. Which, like, if you describe your cube to me, I can find the one that matches mine. However, you have, what, six, eight different ones you, you have to describe? Is that correct? About seven, yeah. Alright, so I was one away on both guesses. Sweet. Anyway, um, <clears throat> with this, uh... When you go up to the cube, you should be able to see what is the top and front. If you know what your top is, I can then determine on my cube what would be the top for you. Like, every time we go through, so I can describe the top and then the one directly below or above it. Okay. The front will Mark always be a compass facing upward. Oh. Uh, so that means if... I describe a compass pointing up, that means that the one above that should give you a decent idea of what it is. Yeah. Unless you have, imagine all seven are just like, once you pick them up, it's just like, it, they're all pointing to the same shape. Imagine that. <laughs> That'd be really bad. Oh, yeah, definitely. But then there's also the idea that we can, um, uh, hold on. And there's the idea that we can go to the left and right of the um, compasses, if you're able to see that. Mm. Let's right, try- Let's just try our first idea- my, my first idea with, um, <clears throat> just looking at, uh, like, the compass direction, and then I can tell you what that's pointing at for me. Okay. Okay, let's find the room, find the room, find the room. Also, don't forget you have a sprint button. <laughs> yeah, I, I... Oh, did you know you could jump? Yes. I don't think you could jump in the last one. Okay, I need to find the door, I have the a sprint door, jumping door, up door, the door, stairs door. to get up here really fast. Ah, found the door. Found it. Can you see the sides? Okay, well, lucky day. Kind Guess of. what my compass is pointing at. Triangle? Nope, it's pointing up at a pentagon. One, two, I have two options then. Okay, I'll describe another shape on it. So there's a compass pointing up to another pentagon that's pointing up at a pentagon that's pointing down. However, if you continue going up, there's a triangle pointing at that pentagon that's pointing at the bottom of the pentagon. Pointing at the bottom of the pentagon. Bottom of the pentagon. Another pentagon. Did. Did. I think I found it. Okay, sweet. Let's go! Okay. That is a way better system. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. okay, okay. So here we go. I now hurry on to the next room. I'm doing my best at running th throughout this place. You'd think that I was a, 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 a marathon runner. I'm here. 
Okay, so my pen okay, my pentagon. My compass is pointing left, which means it would be pointing at a triangle that is pointing um, away from a pentagon. Okay, so hold on. So, so, so a triangle or a pentagon? I have a compass pointing left, which if you follow that would follow a triangle pointing down. Well, no, hold on. Pointing where? So all your compass bearings are always pointing up, which means it'll be pointing up at the triangle. Which means the triangle would be pointing left. And then pointing next left. to that triangle would be a square. And if you continue following that in the line, there'll be another triangle, but pointing the opposite direction of the first triangle. Okay, so... Pointing left. None of my triangles are pointing left. They're all pointing right. Which unless you count... Pentagon. No, not that one. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Keep on pressing the wrong button. That goes into a triangle and a triangle. That's not it. Uh. Did you get all that? Pentagon. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, is the Pentagon? Is are the arrows pointing into the Pentagon? Both of them. No, they're actually pointing away from the Pentagon. Away from the Pentagon? And the Pentagon's pointing almost to the top left-hand corner as well, if that's necessary. Top left-hand. I found one s very similar to what you're describing, but, but the problem is that there's two Pentagons, and one of the- and- one of the pentagons both the triangles are pointing to, and one of the pentagons both the triangles are pointing away from. That matches mine. Please hurry and put it in. I am at three steps. Just, just put that one in. We got nothing to lose. Got it. Ooh, you have no idea how close I was. Okay. I'm in the room. Are you in the room? Yep. So for this one, if you follow the compass that is pointing up, it'll be pointing to a pentagon. Pentagon, pentagon. That it, no, pentagon. never mind. It'll be pointing to a square. A square, a square. And a square. pentagon that's that's trying to turn to the right hand, top right hand corner, and then a triangle pointing back at the compass. Pointing back at the compass. Pentagon, square, square. I'm looking for squares. Square, pentagon, and it's gonna go to a, a triangle that's pointing to the compass. I think I found it. It worked! <gasps> oh, okay, this is a time puzzle for you. Wait, really? Okay, where am I? You'll be fine. Take a deep breath. You'll oh, great. Able. Just don't worry about it. I know exactly what to do on this one. Don't worry about no it. No one needs to worry. However... You're gonna need to describe to me four different knights and what they are holding in their left and right hand, oh, as well shit. as if you look at the shield, that will also tell me what I need to know. Okay. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Since I'm not in a high stress situation, I can help you more. I can help you by being calm myself. I don't like the fact that I'm going upstairs right now. Uh, you'll be fine, but just be warned, as soon as you go through the door, it will start trying to crush you. Great! Great! Great. Okay. So no pressure, except from that door. <laughs> so then here's a silver lining. I have here a wheel that I can turn oh, yeah. to keep it from crushing you. That means you- which will give you more time to describe what I need to know. Okay, good. I'm gonna head in there. Okay. <laughs> and it's laughing at me. Rude. And it's starting to go. Okay. I think you're turning the wheel because it stopped all of a sudden. Yep, I am doing that. Okay, what exactly needs to be described? Okay, so I need to know what There's each knight is holding. However, I need to know the shield up above it as well, so I know where to put what. 
Okay, so on my right, there is a shield with a black and white deer or a horse with antlers with arrows, four arrows sticking out of it. Two on both the right and left side. And this knight is holding just a sword in his left hand. For me, it looks like it's in the right because it's on my right side, but it's left if you're facing away from the knight. Alright, don't worry. Her knights will be facing the same position. However, I need you to describe the sword because if I go for. Because I have many different weapons and shields. Like I have battle axes, normal axes, swords, scimitars, many different ones. And I need to know every description about this first knight before I let go. That way you don't get crushed while I'm trying to look for the sword. Okay. This is a. It kind of looks like it's serrated almost. It has basically a normal sword bit up top and then it kind of has an indent and has more sword bits and it kind of has a serrated bit you can kind of see like a little triangle point to see where which sides are sharp and which sides are less sharp it, it's not as inclined as much and the knight has black pants and uh on its helmet it has Four scratches, two prominent ones that are on the right side. All right, so uh, all, the, all the knights look the I same. I am about to let go, them. so be prepared. Be prepared. Okay. Ah, it's too fast. I'm gonna stay over here. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I can reset it. <laughs> okay, good, because it's getting a little too close for comfort. Okay. Why is there duplicate portraits? I don't like you. You stupid wall. Also, let me know if I need to drop whatever I'm doing to come and hurriedly uh, pull it back, because I can do that. Okay. I keep on forgetting I can jump. I can jump! If you get too close to it, will you just die or can you touch it and have it just push you? I'm not gonna test that, but I kinda want to. Ooh, there's cracks in the stone. Now, is it your right or is it his right? My right. Oh, so it would be like as if you were holding- Okay, so it'd be mirror- So it'd be in his left hand if I were to be looking at him then? Yes. Just wanted to be sure uh, that I didn't find the wrong decision. Also, I found the correct one. Eek! Alright, it's done. Uh, go ahead and start scrubbing the- Next one. Okay. The, okay, the wall is going back. Now I can. Okay, this one has like a... I can't tell if that's a badger, a horse, or a weird seahorse. But basically, it is a weirdly positioned creature with armor on and what looks like to be a shield or a sword in its hand. With uh, You know how some helmets have like a mohawk? It kind of looks like it has one of those. Um, okay. I'm gonna go look at the one you just described. Cool. I like the cute one. So just be prepared for the wall to start going. I'm gonna go and see if I can. So you said it's, uh, the three I have are currently badgers. Um, and so look for one that has a helmet that has a mohawk on top and holding a shield. Can you describe the shield? Is it round or does it look like a t-shirt? Neither, it's not a shield. It's a very, very pokey and spiny sword. Let me find the one that you're talking about. Because it is a badger! I just now realized I can click on it and actually see the picture and not have to look at it from afar. Huh. That's actually good to know for later. Okay, that guy has a book. My bad. That guy's weird. 
Okay, it's not a shield. It's a, it's a sword. Not a. Well, maybe it is a shield. It kind of has like a shaded part, so it might be a shield. But I think it's a sword. Uh, and this badger looks very calm compared to the other badger that also has a sword that has like its fangs being bared. And does it look like the helmet of the frightened badger is coming off? Of the frightened badger? Um, no. It's. I wouldn't even call him frightened. He actually looks terrifying. Uh, but uh, no, the hat's staying on fairly. Like it's a it's a tight helmet. He's not losing any. I, it, it looks more like a boar. Is it a boar? I don't know. I think we might be mixing up badgers. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for the one you described, so that way I can run this weapon to it. So I'm gonna let go in three. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! There, there. Uh, did I describe the weapon? No, not yet. I'm going to go okay. find the correct place so I can put the weapon there fast, and then come back and hold down the uh, um, Bob. Okay. Okay, so, recap. Um, it is a calm badger that has a mohawk helmet and is holding oh, a sword, but it does not, but is not bearing its fangs at all. Yes. With a weird horse tail. Alright, I'm going to go look for it, and I'm going to see if I can find one that doesn't match either of the two descriptions that you have for me for now. Okay. I really like these stained glass windows. Is don't... it facing to your right? I don't know. Uh, could you get the wall? Thank you. Um, let me see. It's facing towards my right. Is one of them- is one of the badgers facing left? The only one that's facing left has a book in his hand. Alright, then I know all the ones you're talking about, and the one I thought Helmet was coming off was actually the mohawk one you were describing to me. Oh, okay, okay. Kill, kill. I'm gonna go get another quick look, because these two are on the right hand side for me. Um, I'm gonna go get another quick look at both of them, because the left hand side is the book badger. Then the one that's left on the left. So I'm gonna go take a quick look at the right, and I'm going to look at both of them, and I'm going to describe them back to you. That way I know that we're both talking about the same one. Okay. Okay, so three, two, one. Don't you dare crush me, you wall! I would have took a uh, uh, grilled uh, piece of meat. Okay, so one of them for me looks like it's jumping at something, like it's has all four of its paws ready to jump at something. The other one looks like it's walking. Uh, which one of these is the jump, one you were jump, describing? Jump. The calm badger kind of looks like it's either walking or just... I guess you could call it jumping, but the other one looks like it's more of jumping than... than walking, but then again, it could be walking. I I think I jump weird, because most people do both feet. I jump with one foot, but... The badger... The, ba the calm badger has both feet kind of up. Kind of looks like they're standing on their second knee? Whatever the, that's called, the backwards one. Okay, so I have two, and also that's not weird for- to, I do- I jump with both feet or I jump with one, depending on how I want to land. If I'm going to be doing quick hops in succession, I'll, I'll hop with one. Mm -hmm. Or if I want to land somewhere, I'll just do one sometimes. Mm -hmm. But most of the time I'll do two for a steady landing. But yeah, that's not weird at all. Okay. Uh, plenty of people do that as well as parkour people. Now, for jumping, now as I should have described in a different way, where one looks like it had it's sticking its butt out, and then another one just looks like it's standing on two feet. However, the feet are 
are spread apart to make it look like it's walking. It kind of has its butt out. Alright, then I know which one you're talking about. Go ahead and describe the weapon for me, please. Okay, so the sword is... It's definitely a... I would say it's kind of a stabbing sword because then you can get the most damage. But basically, um, you have a nor like you have the normal part of the sword, like it, you know how normal swords are straight; they don't have any extra designs. Then you have like at the near the hilt, you'll have a spike on either side, kind of jutting out. It's not a long spike, but it's kind of like a shallow spike, and then it goes out flat. And then you kind of have like a square or a um. Um, I forgot what it's called off the top of my head. Basically, there's like a square blade as well, right above the, uh, the spiked, the shallow spiked parts. Does it look like a mini's Y-hander? A what? A mini's Y-hander. No. Uh, it's German for two-handed sword, essentially. But basically what you're describing is, um, is what I know you're talking about, except like, uh, basically as a Y-hander is a very big blade where on a part of it there are two points on the sword itself that jut on the blade and that go out, and then on the, like, kind of almost close to the hilt, like, to, you know, get closer, because it's a big sword, kind of hard to handle. Mm -hmm. But then with the hilt itself, with the special little thing that goes out to prevent your hand from you know going up onto the blade it uh i i i have a sword that sort of matches that description yeah that sounds about right all right uh which hand your right or left my right all right i will put it in in three two one Don't crush me. Now, does it have three extra? Door. Wall. Wall. Thank you. Sorry. What was the question? Um, does it have, uh... So, when I was first looking at it, there are three sets of spikes near the hilt that go small, medium, big kind of thing, and then higher oh. up on the sword, there's another two spikes. Is that the correct sword? No. This one has one, one shallow spike that's fairly big, but it's shallow, uh... Like, if you are thinking of, of, like, if you lay the sword horizontally, it's shallow. And then you have, like, a shallow square also that kind of juts out, but it's not a square. It's, like, basically, like, if you place a square inside of the sword kind of shape. So it's almost like a rectangle blade, but with a triangle on top, and then with two extra points on the side? Um... Maybe? Uh, when you think of a normal sword, you have, like, the normal blade and hilt, and then right above the hilt, just barely above the hilt, okay, not barely, like, there's maybe an inch, there is a shallow triangle on either side that's pointing out, then, like, maybe two inches above that, you have, these are really bad measurements, by the way, um, you have a part that juts out and has a plateau and then goes back into the blade and then it goes up like a normal sword. Uh, I'll try, I'll just try and find what you're describing and then I'll come back to the wheel so I can describe it to you. Okay. Don't crush me. You are going faster each and each time. <sighs> okay, so for the sword, 
Uh, just give me a second, hold on. So, does it have a curved handle? The handle looks straight to fit the grip of the user, but it's not curved like a boomerang. Okay, okay. That's gonna eliminate a lot of swords over here. So, I'm gonna go back and look. I'm also gonna get rid of the sword in the knight's hand. Actually, no, I'm gonna bring it back here so I can describe it. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, with how this one is, is, uh, almost near the top of the blade, there's two, there's two small spikes, and then near the, uh, little handguard looking thing, little, about, I'd say, almost an half an inch above that, there are three sets of spikes, big, well, long skinny thick skinny and then short spikes so this is not the correct scoop sword no it's not the correct sword i accidentally let held down the thing i'm very sorry if you're trying to talk it's fine uh no that's not the correct sword Alright, I dropped on the ground so that he's fine. Okay, so... Okay. Is it like that, but with less spikes? Kind of. It has... Okay, let's only count for one side since the sword is symmetrical. So, the one side... Technically both sides. Have... Next to the hilt and the uh, finger guard, there is a spike that kind of has a point to it. And then it goes back into the sword for a little bit and then it has juts out and has a plateau so there's only two uh there's only two uh, uh i don't know what to call it i'll just call it spikes there's only two spikes okay i'm gonna go check out the left side and see if i can find that i'm gonna go and then i'm gonna hold down the wheel to put it back then i'll do the right Okay, okay. So three, two, two one. one. Don't kill me. I really hate how it feels. I really don't like this. I need the wheel. I'm gonna be crushed. I'm gonna be crushed. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see this video. You'll see how close the call that was. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. Oh, okay. So, does this spike almost form sort of a handle guard kind of thing where you have another way to grab it sort of thing? Uh, there is a cloth right be there is cloth wrap right right before the spike, so kind of. Okay. I'm going to go up and do a quick check and run back really fast. Okay. Okay. Ooh. This, this totally doesn't make me extremely anxious. I really wish I could jam one of the swords in here to hold this in place. <laughs> that would be really resourceful. I'm kind of sad that you can't. Okay. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. I think I found the sword you're talking about. So, going from the bottom to the top, does it going to the top. look like um, it almost has a diamond, and then there's a little bit, and then there's normal sword, and then a square, and then sword? Is that what you were trying to tell me? Yes. Well, then I found Yeah, I found it. Okay, so this one goes in the right hand of the... Badger that is really shaking it, shaking its money maker essentially. <laughs> yes. Ah, 
Okay, I'm gonna go do that right now. In three, Can I jump on that? Two, Can I please escape? One. Can I just break through the bars? I don't think that works. <laughs> I don't think I could bend metal bars, which is why I get squished if this actually came close. Okay, it made a sound when I put in the sword. I think that means it was right. Okay, so now we have the one that is that has a book. One that. Uh, now his eyes are glowing red. Just let you know, and that also means that we didn't get the first one right because his eyes aren't glowing red, and we didn't get a sound. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go grab the weapon that I gave it, and then I'll describe it to you. So this will be the um first one you described when you first went to the room so i'm gonna go grab it in three two can i hide in one of the, can i hide in the soups will that work don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare okay so this one um how do you describe your sword the sword that it had and then i'll see if that's right on mine Okay, so there is no handguard, and th this isn't a symmetrical blade. Think of it as if you don't look at the uh, the indents where the parts are sharp, and you look at it horizontally, it kind of looks like a broken kitchen blade. Basically, you have your normal sword. Then you have a diagonal point, and it goes down. Then you have a jut inwards that gradually goes back to the normal size of the sword blade, and then it goes into the handle. Alright, so yeah, this one does not match that at all. I'm gonna go try and find a sword that matches that. So it's not gonna look like a normal sword, it's gonna look like almost a broken kitchen knife. Kind of, but that's a very loose description of it. Because uh, kitchen knives are usually very pointy and straightforward. This is kind of curved in a sense. Yeah, yeah, so almost like a scimitar kind of thing. Sure. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. Um, those old Egyptian swords. I don't think I'm familiar with those. Nah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go look for another one that looks like a kitchen blade, but not. Uh, and then I'll bring it back to the wheel. Oh, I, I understand how confusing that is. I'm so sorry, Blue. <laughs> okay, so the one I have, um, you have, starting at the top, start at the top. <clears throat> it looks like a normal triangle, normal and triangle. then if you continue going down, it starts curving to on the left side, but on the right it is a sharp stop, and then it goes in like a curve, and then uh -huh. on the left side it does the same thing but lower down near the hilt. Well, not the hilt, but more near the handle. That- no, that is not correct. Uh, the- One- the left side, from what I can see of the sword, so from my perspective, it is curved, but it is smooth curved on the left side, and on the right side it has all those details. So on the left, it looks like a fan- it just- it's no it's just curved and that's it. Yes, only slightly curved. All right, that's definitely going to make this a lot easier for my pea-sized brain. I'm going to go look again in 3. You don't have a pea-sized brain. What? Please don't 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 don't. Okay, so uh the left side has no extra details on it, right? Yes. Good to know. Don't you dare, 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 don't you dare. 
Alright, so the right side has been eliminated for this one, so we have to go to the left and hit this. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, you can see what I'm doing in here. Ugh. This is a lot str more stressful than I would like it to be. Oh, trust me! I think this side's super stressful too! Okay. I can't hear Three, because I'm not two, doing the thing, but one. that's fine. Oh, I don't like walls closing in. It feels like it's getting faster with it every time it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa! Frick! No! I was almost there! I couldn't <sighs> drop the sword! I kept, I kept on picking up the sword! No, we were so close! I kept on picking up all the freaking swords and I found the right one, but I had to. But I picked up the wrong one first. I actually found the right one. <laughs> no, dang it. Oh, we were so close. That is terrifying. <laughs> I bet. Jeeps. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's do it again. Yay. Oh no. You in? Badgers or whatever animal it is this time as well. <laughs> I, I don't like this. So I familiarize myself with everything. You ready? Give me out. Well, I dude. was gonna familiarize myself with everything. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead and familiar yourself with everything. I can't, because I have to hold the wheel. I'm sorry. You're fine. Um, just go ahead and describe the first one to me, and then uh, I'll see if I can't find it. Okay, this is a badger with a lion's tail and a crown. You're freaking me out, man. Freaking me out. Are you purposely letting go and re- grabbing the lever? Because I can hear that. It's freaking me out. <laughs> the wheel is continuously going left if I spam it like this. If I- uh, Okay! If I spam it per uh, perfectly, so I'm able to get it more to the left than I think I'm supposed to be able to. Okay. Don't you dare. So we've got a king badger, we got a... We got a... Oh, we got this guy again! So you said king crown and lion's tail, right? Which way are the face? They are face... They are facing to the left. Don't you dare. What was that? They're facing left. Are there any other ones facing left? Uh, yes. The other one that's facing left is a... Not a pelican, but it's definitely a bird. I can't remember the name of the bird off the top of my head. Okay, so the, there's only one badger facing to the left. Is that Yes. Alright, that should be easy enough to find. So I just need to look for one that's facing left, and then I'll just find a bird that's facing the same way. And then that'll be the first two uh, that we can get done, and the other two will pro we'll probably want to get the other two done if they're facing the same way. Are they the same animal? Like, are there two badgers facing to the right, or what? There is one badger facing to the right, and there is one deer, I think, with the arrows inside of them. Oh, so you just need to tell me the animal, and if it's the badger, you just gotta tell me which way it's facing. Okay, this is pretty sorted. Sweet. Okay. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the badger that's facing left, left. and I'm gonna okay. come back to the wheel. Okay. Oh my god, it is slower. It gets faster with every single- Oh my god. Good to know! Alright, I found him, and he is next to the bird. Oh, he's next to the bird? Cool. Alright, with his weapon. Okay, the king has a weapon of a spiky mace. Are you sure? Is it actually spiky or does it just have metal studs in it? There are spikes coming out of it. I don't know if that means it's spiky or if it has studs in it. So it has like actual spikes, not thumbtack looking studs? Yes, I think. Alright, does it go in its right or left hand? It goes in my left. Alright. Don't like the fact that it speeds up every single time it goes forward. Don't. I'm watching you. Alright, so I'm gonna do it. In... Is the wall all the way back? Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna let go in three, two, one. I don't like the wall. Oh, I thought there was something right, crawling on the ceiling. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think I even heard the noise. Uh, go ahead and tell me the. Well, one second. The bird? Burr, 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 burr. Oh, there's two. The bird has two. Dual wielding. Okay, so that's a stork. That's uh that's also facing the left. Uh go ahead. Thank you. I forgot the name of the bird. And this guy's dual wielding. So there are two different swords. I am so sorry, I accidentally clicked right click. Me it's a bird. Why do you gotta have two swords? <laughs> okay, so the sword on the left is symmetrical. It has a finger guard right after the hilt, and it's a fairly thick blade that is fairly traditional, but it has two spikes, maybe four inches from the hilt. Uh, two spikes, one smaller than the the first one, smaller than the second one, and then it goes back to the original shape of the blade and goes into a fine point. And that's in the left hand, correct? Yes. Your left hand, right? Yes. All right. Three, two, two one. one. I hate this. Oh, can you crouch? <gasps> I forgot you could crouch. Okay, so I found a blade that sort of matches this. So, when it's going up from the hill, from the guard, it goes up and then it has a small bump and then a bigger bump and then goes back into the original sword shape. Yes. All right, that's in its left. That's in on your left, correct? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Don't crush me. Okay, what is in its right hand then? Okay, this is a very unique sword, and I can see myself hurting myself. <laughs> like, like if you're trying to wield it, you accidentally like stab your wrist. It's really inconvenient, personally, I think. There isn't really much of a finger guard, but the sword, it's like the blade itself, like you see, it it has basically a katana in the wall is closing in. Um, you have a katana basically inside of it, it kind of looks like, and then you have basically a bigger blade on top of it, 
at the top it has a large diagonal point to the left and then it has like a bite taken out of it a few a few inches down from the tip of the blade and then it has basically the the blade the big blade that's on top of the katana is separated into two and has a smaller uh, blade on the bottom as well that fits the same design as the one on top. So does it look like there? So there's two blades and then you're the top. Okay, so this is the one that I had last time in the first night, and it looks like there's a s stick uh, separating the two. Correct? Yes. All right. Well, I knew exactly which one you were talking about. I was just trying to find it uh, during your description. But yeah, I know which one it is, and I'm going to okay. do it in three, two, two one. I can hear you. No, his eyes are glowing. Alrighty, let's do the. Well, hold on. I'm gonna see which one's furthest away, and then I'll have to describe that one to me so I can get the. Uh... Oh, the closest one faster, you know. Yeah. Don't kill me. The uh, bad, the other badger is the one that's furthest away. So let's get that one first. Okay. This badger has both a shield and a sword. This sword may sound familiar to you. It's the one that we were having troubles with last time. It has the diamond and the square inside the blade. And is that in its right or left hand? It's on my right. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find it now. Okay. The glowing nubbles can see me being crushed. I'm so glad this is far the uh, way. Was that too close for comfort, or did I come in uh, just in time? Just in time. I think the door increases speed as time goes by, because when, because the difference between the our last run and our first time with the wall closing in was dramatically different. Okay, so this is in its right hand, correct? Yes. Well, my right. So, technically it's left hand if you're looking at it like you're looking away from it. Okay, what is the shield then? The shield is a wooden shield with a uh, metal trim and a circle in the center. And there, in, in the top, there is a... a rounded square cut out of it and on each of the sides there is a circle cut out of it and then at the bottom there is a point so it looks like someone took one of those old staplers you used for paper and just used it on the edge of it on three of the sides kind of yeah okay I know which one it is. I'm gonna go grab it in three, two, two one. one. Okay. This place must be on a tilt. If that thing's coming. Don't you dare. All right, so it's not the right one. I'm gonna go ahead and run and grab it, but then drop it over here by the wheel, and then I'm gonna go grab the other one that looks like it. Okay. Okay, so wait, hold on. Um, I saw the shields you were talking about. Does it look like a, does it look like a T? Like a what? like a shirt almost like with the armholes and then like the uh, the head hole at the top kind of thing but it also looks like an, a pointy apron yeah that is a great description okay so I have two of those does it have metal studs or none 
There's no metal studs, but there is a circle in the center. Alright, that means it's the one on the left side, so it is on the far left. So I'm gonna go grab it as fast as I can. Okay. Hello, wall. We meet again. Hopefully for, for not for that long, because you're gonna squish me. There we go. Okay, by the way, before I put on the shield, is the deer dual hand dual wielding or is it single wielding? The deer? Uh the one with the arrows in it. Um, it has a shield and a sword. Oh you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, just <laughs> describe the shield and then I can just because those ones are the hardest ones to get because I have to Go over and look up for them. Just go ahead and describe that one. Is it like the current one I'm holding, but with studs, or is it one of the circle looking ones? It's one of the circle looking ones. It looks like it kind of has like a, a, an eye on its side with a stud for the pupil, and then it has uh, circles cut out on each, uh, for each direction, basically uh, north, south, east, west. And then for each of the parts that are jutted out, there are two studs on each side. Hello, I see your eyes. Okay, so I know that that was the that was actually the first shield that I put into the current knight's hand that we were oh. just talking about with the uh, shirt shield. So I know which one you're talking about. Which hand, though? My left. Got it. You can't describe the sword. Just can't see it. Weak. Oh, thank you. Now then, does it have an axe or a sword? It has a sword. And this one has... Oh, this one's cool. It doesn't have... Okay, it... Oh, it does have a... It has a, uh... Finger protector right after the hilt. And the hilt has a... I think that's a cloth... No, never mind. Never mind, that was the armor. Sorry about that. Um, and then it has the blade. There is a tiny uh, spike and then a large spike that it kind of enlarges the whole blade and the right after it goes into the blade, it kind of has a curve and goes out slightly into a, uh, a kind of curved point and it's symmetrical. Don't kill me. So it's a symmetrical blade that is curved. So if you describe one side, it'll be the same on the other? Yes. So curved blade. So it's starting from the top to the bottom. It has a curved blade, correct? From the top to the bottom, basically it's rounded. It's a rounded point. Uh, it Kind of like an egg. You know how... How eggs are smaller at the top, bigger at the bottom. Kind of like that, shape-wise, but it's pointy and sharp. I don't know why egg was my best subscription, but the only thing I could think of. Okay, so I'm going to describe the left side too. So it looks like it's an egg at the top, but then it curves in a little, and then to a point, and then curves out, and then in, but a smaller, and then out, and then in, but even smaller than that. Correct? Okay, in total, and this is counting the very top, there are three outward spikes, and that's including the top egg. Well, okay, so for me, I'm going to describe the, the one side. It's so basically, it goes, so it starts at the top, looks like an egg at the top. Is So does your sword look like it has a metal egg at the top, essentially? Kind of, but it's a very flat egg. It, it's it's a flat egg. Well, this way, like, it basically it's not a mace or anything, but... Eek! Oh, there we go. Woo! I did it, yes! I knew that was the right one. Okay, so when you said egg, I knew that there was one sword that matched the description. Let's go! 